hi everyone welcome back to another interesting tutorial so guys today we are going to be making this beautiful trendy spiral rose sleeve worn by um vicky james and you can see that it's a trendy kind of something and the sleeve is looking very beautiful if you're interested to learn how to do this just keep watching now guys i'll be introducing my sleeve this is my basic sleeve i have gone ahead to I'll cut it out and I have attached um one inch seam allowance if you watch you can see it there where I use my pencil to mark and I didn't fold this paper into two it just I just cut it out like so now I have another pattern paper with me here and I'm going to go ahead and fold it in an angle shape first of all i cut out my basic sleeve now after cutting my basic sleeve i added one inch allowance to it then i used the pattern paper and folded it into angle shape like you see me doing here right now it must be in angle shape it must be having this pointy two edge mouth okay so this part is closed while the other side is open this paper is on fold, but it's not a mold that it's going to be on fold. Now, I'll be placing my basic sleeve on the open part, like the side that is not folded up. My basic sleeve, I will put it on top of this pattern paper, the side that is open. And I'm going to use my uh, masking tape to secure the upper part. The upper part is the armhole area. All right i will secure it remember what i said i place this sleeve paper on the open side of this folded angle not the folded part all right now i have the length of my sleeve about um, 23 inches so guys i'm going to uh, measure from my shoulder like the um length of the where I want this spiral rose to start from this upper sleeve, I'm going to get um eight eight inches. So you can determine where you want your rose to start and end. So I'm going to make my nine inches from the shoulder is going to be nine inches for the length where I want the rose to start. So you can measure from your shoulder to your elbow depending how um the length you want this spiral to start now after getting the length of what i want nine inches from my shoulder i'm going to go ahead and cut out excess like the remaining parts of this under the like what i'm going to cut out is this angle form paper okay not the main basic sleeve like i have gotten the the uh, length of what i want i'm going to go ahead and uh, cut out the excess that is on this angle but before then i will cut this angle into two like i will just cut it open and keep the remaining paper aside i wouldn't want to waste this paper so just one paper is enough one angle is enough for this tutorial this is just a tutorial i'm not making use of this sleeve just for its tutorial sake okay so i'm going to go ahead and cut the paper out the one I'm cutting at is the angle that I folded up, all right? If you look closely, you will you notice that the length of the sleeve is there and it's still longer than. So this part is still the folded part I cut open. So I'll just secure the upper area, the armhole part, very well. Now I'm going to trim out the excess that is by the side of the length of the sleeve. Now I'm going to cut the armhole area out so the main reason for doing this on this paper is to get the 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 spiral rose is to get it that is the main reason for doing this on the paper just to get that shape of the spiral rose okay now to avoid confusion i'm going to be labeling the place i cut out open like it's going to be the folded part but it's no longer on a folded or, or part please i just cut it out okay it's of no use so instead of wasting paper i just cut it open and leave it like so 
now you can see that this side already has a pointy shape while the length of our sleeve is still there i'm going to be introducing this my fabric so i'll be using this fabric to do this okay and i'll be making only one hand one sleeve now i'm going to go ahead and fold this sleeve in an angle shape like angle 90 guys angle 90 okay after getting it after folding it up into an angle just arranging it guys so after folding it up again i'm going to introduce this paper that i cut out like that folded part is going to be on the folded it's going to be on the uh, folded area of this fabric the folded part of this paper will be on top of the folded part of the fabric all right so the open part is going to be on the open part of the fabric just watch it closely and you will understand okay now on this down part why cutting i'm going to be putting um adding 0 0.5 inches allowance for same allowance okay like this area i am touching here this side part i'm not gonna be adding any allowance because i've already added it on the paper of the length of my sleeve measurement so now i'm going to go ahead and cut leaving about 0 0.5 inches allowance for the joining so i'll cut out the armhole part that's the shoulder area now you can see that i have 0 0.5 inches that is half an inch so i'm going to um please like if you watch closely the the video i am recreating they use um ashoke to make this sleeve and because ashoke is thick so if you're making use of a soft fabric make sure that you you, you iron interfacing on your lining and use it to turn your main fabric up so i'm going to go ahead and be, and be stitching on this down part the place i added half an inch i'll be running a stitch on it okay please let me say it again if you're using a soft fabric to do this sleeve make sure you iron or uh, interfacing on your lining use it and turn your main fabric up so this part is going to be stitching up i'm going to take it to my sewing machine and stitch it up with half an inch but if you're using a fabric that is very thick it's of no use of adding uh, interfacing to it so i'm going to go and do that now i am done doing it you can see that i have run a stitch on it on it so I'm going to trim a little. So on this this particular place, like, like this center place, make sure you notch so that it will allow it to have an ease of movement over there. Now after that, I'm going to iron it and bring it back. Here I have ironed it and you can see how beautiful it's looking. This is the back and here is the outer part looking so beautiful okay so this place i'm touching right now is the length of our sleeve and this particular place that is like pointy is the part we are going to be working on all right make sure you iron your interfacing on your lining if you're using a soft fabric to do this okay so guys the next thing i'm going to do here is to start to this please pay attention to this pay attention to this if you really want to learn this sleeve just pay attention to this is not it's not that hard it's not that hard it's very very simple so i'm just making this tutorial for everybody to understand okay now i'm going to open it up like this this is the front part so i'll start on this point C area like i'm holding and i'll start to make my pleat i'll just do it as if i am folding it up i'll begin to pleat just arrange it very well so while you are pleating please use your pin to pin it up if you pleat or if you arrange use your pin to pin it up after pinning it up please you tack it okay so you can see that the rose is now forming it's now having shape 
So why making this rose? Why creating your pleat? Use your pin to tack it. Like use your pin to pin it up and after you tack it gently, use your um use your invisible thread to tack it, okay? Now I'm going to finish it up and place it on my mannequin to show us the final look of this if you love what we do here always please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share so that all every other person we learn from it okay so i'm going to go ahead and arrange it very well after that i will place it on the mannequin for us to see the final look you can see how beautiful this is looking Imagine if you are making use of a thick fabric to do this. If you are making use of a thick fabric to do this, it's going to be looking like this. So thank you guys for watching and see you on the next tutorial. Until then, bye for now.